So anyhow, Chris, all right. We let Chris drive because when I don't have to drive, it's kind of nice. A lot of days driving, you know what I mean? But here's the deal. So I didn't even say anything. I'm looking on the GPS and obviously the people can't see it, but you went way around where we're at. The amount of guys I see that crash right over their stuff and then try to run through it, crazy, crazy, right? Give me a little bit on that, on how, any setup stuff you like to do. I mean, especially not running over your fish, because like I so said, especially know we're catching them a little higher. Um, we don't want to be, you know, running right where we're going to cover. And then the other big thing is I think a lot of guys don't give themselves enough setup time. Like they don't have half the rods in the water and they're catching, but you should have everything in the water ready to go, right? Yep. And not just on the spot. So give yourself a little setup time when you know that what area, you know, they're holding at or if you're marking them, don't stop right there, go back. Give yourself at least a couple hundred yards because it goes fast when you look on the GPS. So, you know, I'm pretty good at like seeing what's going on. We had so much chaos. I'm discombobbing the wind. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know what's going on. But talk to me about the, you know, the color thing. We, we and you are just kind of off camera here, trying to say, okay, well, what do we got out? What's catching? What's not? Should we change these leads around? Even though everything's catching, we want the ten pounders. Even though we're gonna let them go. And walk me through what you're thinking on that. Um, what I have found a lot is, is that you. Um each day or whatever, color, certain colors can be catching more larger fish. Um, today we've noticed that, you know, the blue chrome has been doing quite well. Also that uh, the new Wonder Bread style color, the white and black head. The stock um, husky. Has, has actually caught the largest fish today. Um, so that's sometimes keying it in a little further that um, a certain color on a certain day can catch most of your larger fish. And then me and you, you know, guiding or fishing back to back to back days, that doesn't mean tomorrow. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is all together yeah. different. So that's so. why it's good sometimes I always feel lead matters, get it in the right spot in the water, worry about color next a little bit, and then also take it a step further and which one's catching the bigger ones if that's what you're targeting. So pay attention to the leads, that's why I call them out in the boat, you know, and pay attention when that fish gets in there so you don't miss a piece of the puzzle. So we're just out here with Chris talking about colors and all of a sudden, boom, inside board goes hard. And Chris has notified me that this is my money chrome blue one. I've got this one. I don't know how many fish this thing has caught, but it is, oh boy, hold on. We've got all kinds of rapage, rapage going on. But sometimes, you know, Chris, you can develop, you can have 12 baits, the exact same color, same exact lure and one or two just seem to work better. And that's why we were joking that, you know, when people grab lures out of our boxes, they always grab the nice shiny ones. And me and you go for the ugly, nasty ones with the hooks that probably need to be replaced yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Speaking of lures, the all beaten up one that some people would probably not even fish. That thing's got uh, some miles on it. Luckiest walleye in Lake Erie. <laughs> so me and Chris were just talking. Chris likes to talk off camera, <laughs> which is not good when we don't have producer dude here. I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> and I got a meat stick in my mouth, but me and him probably, when did you get married? 2010. So this was 2010, like a week before your wedding or something. Me and you went out and we were in really dirty water and we were talking about this the other night. And we smashed them on husky jerks. And this, this is back before a lot of other baits guys were using now weren't, weren't even out. Remember that? We couldn't even see and it just, yeah. there was never a boat out. The lake iced up literally that next day and we just put an absolute bashing on them and big fish, like big, big, crazy big. And you know, husky jerks are so easy because generally they're staying in tune, right? Yep. They just pull easier. You don't, when you're reeling them in, it's a lot easier. And I mean, the memories we have with these, yeah, I work with Rappel now, but I mean, I've been using these for a very long time. I mean, I can remember with Gary Roach testing the original husky jerks in like the mid to late nineties. I can't remember exactly what year that was and before they were even out. And I got a handful of those and just smashed them on it. But I mean, how many big fish have you caught on a husky? It's countless. I mean, they're just fun bait to run and the fish definitely like them. They just got the perfect action. And and they generally hold together, you know what I mean? Uh, one of the big things we've talked about in some of the other videos, if you haven't got those, go check them out. But number five, short shank VMC. If you don't have that, 
you're going to tangle on the other hooks and it's going to throw that balance off because one of the reasons that husky is so successful is it perfectly suspends in this water that's under 50 degrees and i think that's why you get a lot of bites you know we purposely stall one side of the boat or we're going really slow and that bait just has an almost do nothing action kind of like these guys that you know bass guys that are hovering a minnow now and it just seems to just flat out catch them I mean, how many fish have you caught with a board not even moving yeah it's been at least four already yeah, and, and throughout your fishing crew oh, with huskies. Geez, it's countless. I and mean, that's just, just amazing. You know, where you do that with other baits, that bait is rising to the surface very quickly. And in this cold water, you know, we're still in that upper 30s, low 40s. It just doesn't work the same. Yeah. Why don't you do us a favor and just smack on that middle board there? Gonna, he's going to pop that release. And then he's going to give a little bit of time. Bob, did you notice how nice and subtle he did that? <laughs> P-team gets beat up even when he's not here. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Chris has got demerits. I almost self-imposed one myself today, but just another fish. Yep. Crazy. The old number 12s. So we're at the point right now where it's a little bit ridiculous. Um, and I said, Chris, just let me know when it's a good one. And I mean, I don't know if he's talking about that, but um yeah he's like oh it's just a tiny one <laughs> we are spoiled on lake erie folks we are spoiled on lake erie i'm not sure what happened with this this fellow but not only is it absolutely crazy hooked up he's been hanging around the wrong type of ladies <laughs> chris um you see what we got going on over here oh we got another one on all right chris so um you're on one now and you like to talk when the camera's <laughs> off but what did you just say? I what said, was I the think key? This is another nice one. Yeah, it's, it's now it's yeah now all of a sudden he's, you know. But here's the thing: we made that move back, and when we got in that area, when the chaos kind of ensued, it's still ensuing. The best part is the guys are starting to filter in this general area. And we've been able to kind of have this area to ourselves for the most part. And that's a really a big deal when you're fishing this. I don't want to say shallow water. Like if you're in Minnesota, this is not shallow water, but shallow for us right yep you know one of the keys with doing this really is the rod trees perfect there you go um, having rod trees really makes a big difference because you can spread these when it's calm like this or really rough yeah chris it's just about a seven or eight <clears throat> I mean, I don't want you, I feel like this is, you know, like I always tell Bob, this is a make-a-wish trip. I want you to just make sure, Chris, just, just, uh, yeah. Just make sure, Chris, you just have, I don't want you to have to do anything besides just real fishing. So you grab that other one. Just, yeah, you just, you just. <laughs> so we're gonna pop that, yep. And give her a little swing time when you guys are doing this. But again, when you're going really slow like this, my opinion is, is you want to do it in your hand. Don't stick it in a rod holder because you may have to reel a little bit. If that fish starts swimming with you, you need to put a little tension on there because these fish will come off. All right, and then we got another one on the other side. No, oh boy. Okay, oh Austin Sues. We really are spoiled because even our like, you know, oh, it's just a little one. <laughs> I don't know, Chris. <laughs> I think you're a little bigger. You uh, swimming uh, along. I think you're kind of full of poo poo. <laughs> he was tricking us. I don't know. What's this us stuff? <laughs> us. Don't throw me in your little circle. <laughs> Take it. Come on. We got other things to do. Yeah. Not quite an eater. <laughs> Chris's eaters are. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Chris's eaters. Oh, my outside. Outside. I would hit a waypoint, but this is already where we caught a dozen. <laughs> Nice one on a husky jerk. You know, one of my favorite things that the 
husky is that you just really don't have to tune them. That, see now, you know what? What do we got there, dude? Let's talk about that. Definitely a nice fish here. Yeah, but what kind? Of, what, what, what's already happened to that girl? It's already all spawned out. That's right. Nice long, skinny now. All spawned. All Going right, back. back to work. Live another day. So Tris is a longtime friend, very trustworthy. You've seen him help with all our project stuff. Don't trust him on size of fish though. <laughs> Inside board went. Um, it's kind of these are fairly, fairly short leads, which can can trick a guy out. So I'll give you a little bit of good idea, but not a lot. So what are we thinking now? Because you said this feels like a better one. Yeah, it's at least a seven. Oh, oh, mm, shot calling big ball. Mm. Mm, we shall see here. <laughs> Trying to take a board off and hold the camera is almost as hard as trying to do it and net. We know. shall see. Oh, yeah, he might be tricking us. Let's see. He's tricking us. Yeah, I mean, don't worry, Chris. I just could you, could you could you could you take the net? Just the the camera guy is cameraing with one hand, netting with the other. He's standing there. I mean, that's another demerit. Outside board going too. The demerits are piling up here. I, I feel like there's an expulsion coming. Chris, I want a demerit update. Um, you have a really good one on right now. So if this gets off, don't tell me it was an eater. Um, we're having the most amazing, weird, jacked up day, on, right? Yeah. I mean, do you want to self-impose any? Because you know, like like basketball teams are, you know, they self-impose and they get less of a penalty. Like, where do you feel we're at? Uh, we could at least add two more. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! Six pounds. That's bigger than six pounds, Chris. <laughs> are you are you doing this backwards thing so it's like then it's bigger and now you're feeling yeah. good about it? Okay, I see what you're doing. So Chris, the other thing we're gonna do now is you're gonna take the net, see when I'm hanging over the boat. So you yeah, there see there you go. Chris is he's he's helpful now. All right. <laughs> that might have been another demerit. Chris, that's bigger than six pounds. That's not ten, but it's I mean, what, you want to readjust? Yeah, it's probably a good solid eight anyways. Chris, I'm going to go nine. <laughs> I'm going to go nine on the old gold. That gold's been a good one, that new one. Yeah. A little tip there. We've been taking some of them, putting a black back on them and doing the well too. So Chris, we're going to give a little hot tip here, right? So there is zero wind though. Like you don't really, I mean, very, very subtle. Just doing those slow turns, and we kind of talked about it earlier today. I don't know if it was on camera or not, but where we're almost stalling the lures. And since we started doing some just little S turns, it's been on the fast and the slow side. You know, it just speed goes up and down, right? Just like you said, like we're spinner fishing almost. So sometimes just doing a little something different once things, you know, the conditions change, are going to make sure you get some more fish in there. Folks, I want to show you what he says is a small one. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we, we've caught bigger. Yeah, I, I get it. I mean, this is even bigger than a Wisconsin wall hanger, as I like to say. And as we're messing with that one, we get another one on. Oh, this thing was hooked good enough that B Team Bob and Chris this morning could have even got it. That's on the old prism taper. That bait, Chris, we, me and you were literally using that when we were like. Much younger men, how about that? Um, Chris, is he's caught a few fish, and if you guys, this is your first time watching him, you're probably not gonna understand that that's a true statement, but I said, just tell me, Chris, because we've got so many clips here with fish, if it's a good one. Um, Chris, is, is that a good one? Yeah. And we got an old husky there, my old Prism home deal. That's literally got that bait when I was in high school from old Mr. Roacher. Chris, it's about a nine pounder. Um, so sorry you guys didn't get to see a little more of that, but he's, he's getting a little spoiled. <laughs> Chris, there may be like 10 clips in this video. You know, it's like whenever I had to tell Bob, hey, we're doing a video, so that's what the cameras are for. I'm going to have to tell you, 
Tell me when the fish is over seven pounds or, or even eight <laughs> or nine. Um, do you have any rebuttal to this? Yeah, I think we got one now that's oh. big. It's a good one. Oh, okay. Well, stay tuned here. Okay. Chris, you've caught bigger, but um, you know. We got a double. It's middle board, Mr. Chris. Got it. You see what else we got going on here? We got a middle board going on fire. Now, Chris, we were just about ready to call it here. And then I'm just trying to take a couple pictures and double down. Oh my gosh, my prism. We just lost some prism. Uh oh. Get out there. the super glue. It's been on there for 20 <laughs> years. We'll probably we'll probably give it another piece. What what is the call here? Not that I, I even know why I'm asking. Uh, five-ish. Oh, okay. We're gonna see. This is like this is like retarded prices right. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is that some of them just dragging and then others are swimming in. But you're, like so, a, <laughs> you're like a borderline pro though. I just expect so much out of you. This is not, you know, this has been marginal <laughs> detection. Like if we were in a tournament right now, you know, you got to, hey, we're going to take the big one or the small one. Like which one are we going to reel? <laughs> I feel like we would have lost here. Oh, you know what this is? I told you this is a player on days. Look at this big old thing. You, you, had, you had a little tangle situation going on. Chris, there's one demerit for that. <laughs> and there's another thing. He, folks, he said five pounds. <laughs> now, I don't know. There ain't no holding up or no far. This is, it's well over five pounds. Okay. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get this out of here anytime soon. But, grab them players. Actually, oh. Freak show. Might be a post spawner, yep. possibly. It's hard to say. But definitely the lake lucky to fall out right here. So, as Chris didn't do here, a little scatter wrap, you gotta give them extra time to kind of pull around when you're doing the popping thing. So we just grab the inside board. And so if that does happen, the biggest thing you want to do is reel that inside board so you're not dealing with the tension of that board because once you get all that together you got it just a hot old mess so so me and chris here are having an amazing day we don't eat those giants that's where you're gonna see they're gonna go we're gonna let them do these things so we can make some more just an absolute freak show here thanks for sticking with us on our little video husky jerks still work you just have to put them in the water we literally didn't use anything besides the husky jerk up until the very end. We ran some scatter stuff and we caught some good ones on those. But here's the deal. Look at that mama go. Oh, she just wandered. Mm, mm, mm. Luckiest walleyes in Lake Erie. Thanks for tuning in. Big Water Fishing, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Our podcast, Big Water Podcast. You can find that all of those things. Social media. If you can't find us, you'll be proud. You guys brought a heater out? Right. Uh, dude, dude, that's it's, limp wristed. Everyone complained about being cold. Oh, uh, dear. You're from Minnesota, dude. Come on. This thing's a wet ride, man. Uh, oh, oh, I know. Oh.